If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video will demonstrate how to configure Zero Touch Mesh using the Unleash dashboard with the browser user interface. Zero Touch Mesh allows customers to skip the mesh configuration priming process, enabling mesh APs already installed in their permanent locations to auto-discover, auto-provision, and auto-form a mesh network without priming or having to be connected to an Ethernet cable and then move to their location after being provisioned. It makes it faster and simpler to employ mesh by reducing the burden of connecting over Ethernet first. Simply put, it's plug and play. Eliminating the Ethernet connection is more real-world and far simpler to get the network operational quickly. To enable Zero Touch Mesh from the dashboard, you would go to Admin and Services, and under System, you would click on Mesh, and you'll notice that we have our Mesh settings here. We've enabled Mesh, and that was done when we set up our network. And then you want to make sure that this box is ticked, so we have Zero Touch Mesh. And it says Zero Touch Mesh provides Zero Touch onboarding of Mesh APs. The new AP with the serial number you add here will automatically be approved to join the Unleashed Network via Zero Touch Mesh Discovery. So I can have pre-approved Zero Touch Mesh APs, so I don't have to approve those. So I'm going to put a serial number in here. I'm going to add a serial number, and I'm going to click OK. And now if I go back to my access points, you'll notice that now I have two APs in here. I have a Master AP, and I already have an R510 as a Mesh AP. I'm going to plug in a third AP, which is an H510, which will then provision itself automatically and be added. So that AP is booting up right now. And it's going to take it about 5 or 10 minutes for this process to happen. And now you can see that the H510 is being added. And if I click on that and I do a system overview of information, you can see that uh, we have the device name, the status, the uptime. It now has an IP address. And we have the Ethernet port status here. And if we click on Show Mesh Topology, now we can see that we have two Mesh APs. Remember that we started with one Mesh AP which was the R510, and now we have the H510. So now we have two APs that are meshed off the master AP. So as you can see, this is very plug and play, and as you add more and more APs, they will automatically be provisioned, and if mesh is enabled and that AP is at a remote location, it will automatically be added as a mesh AP. Mm -hmm.